How you doing, guys? This is George from The Roman Show and Wrestle City Radio, and I'm here standing next to the WWE Hall of Famer, Jake the Snake Roberts, and a childhood hero of mine. How are you doing today, sir? Doing very good. Very good. Well, sir, I have to start off by asking this. Uh, you know, you just came out with a great documentary, very emotional. As a matter of fact, if, you, if anyone even watched it and had a dry eye, then you're not human. <laughs> the resurrection of Jake the Snake Roberts. L let me ask you something, sir. How, how did it feel opening yourself up? Because this was a different side of the wrestling fans I ever saw of you. Like, uh, how was it opening up to this documentary? Well, it sucked. You know, it hurt. You know, I mean, why wouldn't it? I mean, I, I bared all my bones. The good thing is, from what I'm being told, this is the second best resurrection of all time. Second best. No, and, and I have to say, like, I saw it on Netflix. Uh, it was one of the first places I was able to pick it up. By the way, you could catch it on Netflix, The Resurrection of Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh, it, it was pure emotion i loved it i saw another side of my childhood hero uh you know in that now mind you to talk about that uh for the people watching at home right now this video or listening through our radio show uh what do you have to tell people that went through your same struggles went through your same battles can you give them any sort of advice to tell them hey never give up never give up that's the key man you know you're gonna have good days you're gonna have bad days but there's still days you know and the bottom line is just never give up. If you fall, get up, start again the next day. You can do it. And that's some great words. Thank you very much for that, Jake. Uh, now, also, you know, talking about never giving up, one of the people that helped you along that, you know, that way of never giving up was Diamond Dallas Page, a guy who has told many, many times that he, you're his hero, that you're his mentor. Uh, just recently was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, something that you're also inducted into. Uh, tell us how you feel now that, that one of your people that you consider almost like a son uh, is inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. That's awesome, man. Uh, for Dallas to get in, I couldn't be happier. Was there any, because I know that he called you uh, called you up a couple times on the live feed of the Hall of Fame, and they panned over to you, and you're like, yeah. Like, what was going on through your head when he said, hey, thank you, Jake, and you saw those tears running down his eyes? It's tough. It's really tough, man. I, I feel like I'm pulling some emotional strings right now with you. <laughs> Enough, enough, uncle, I give up. <laughs> I'm tapping out. Well, I apologize about that, Jake. So let's let's move on to something that you probably would hit very, very close to home. You were a very controversial heel when you were part of the WWF. Uh, you know, you uh, you went, you did everything there possibly can to make the fans hate you. From you know putting the snake on your opponents to having a cobra bite the arm of the late great Macho Man Randy Savage. Now I have to ask you, you know, there's a current heat that a lot of people consider controversial, but also a lot of people are saying where's this coming from towards Roman Reigns uh, what do you have to say as a as a master heel yourself what do you have to say as far as all this hate that Roman Reigns is getting enjoy it enjoy it I mean why why in God's name would you try to change what the masses want the masses want to hate the guy let him hate just pay me while you're doing it <laughs> Is there anything that you would uh, give advice if you were backstage with Roman right now, saying, hey, uh, you know, they hate you, why don't you do this? Absolutely, man. I'd tell him to go out there, pull hair, gouge eyes, poke somebody in the butt, whatever you got to do, man. <laughs> Is there any possibility we might see you again in a future WWE program? I would hope so, but uh, that's all up to them. I know you've been pulling, like, uh, petitioning to make sure that one year you get in the Royal Rumble. Is that still a thing for you? No, it's not a thing for me anymore, man. Ah. <laughs> ah, sure. Well, I, we hope to see you a lot more in, in future WWE projects. <laughs>